Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. Today in this video, we will be talking about how we can enable voice dictation function or voice typing in Microsoft, let's say 2013 or let's say 2016 or let's say 2019 or even 2021. We generally see in case of perpetual Microsoft Office, we don't see that functionality. And the reason why it is because the voice dictation function is only exclusive for Office 365. But not to worry guys, in this video, I will tell you how you can enable it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to open our Word application. And as you can see here, I have already opened it. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to find the sound icon here on lower right corner. So you may either find it here or you can find it somewhere um, again you know, in same location. So just locate your sound icon and make a right click. Now click on sound settings. So right now what we are doing, we are you know trying to configure our microphone because a lot of time this happened that we do not configure our microphone properly and then we face the issue that um, you know our microphone is not getting detected or while typing is not working perfectly fine. Now just scroll it down and for your reference I am using Windows 11. Although in case of Windows 10, the setting will be remain same. Now you need to look for this option, which is more sound setting. Let's click on that. And this will open a familiar window. You might have seen it with Windows 7, Windows 8, 10, and now with 11. In 11, it is slightly more complicated to find out this, but I just showed you how you can find it. Now let's click here on the second tab, which is recording. And there we go. Here we need to find out the mic that you want to use for voice typing. And here you can see I have already configured my mic, uh, which is this one. So I'm going to use same mic for voice typing as well. Let's say you are using multiple mics and you want to define another mic as your default. Then you can select that mic and you know, make a right click and set it as a default device. So in my case, I already did it. So I do not need to select any other device. So I'm going to leave this setting as it is. In your case, maybe you need to just see your mic is properly configured. And then, you know, there is a moment when you are saying something which uh, kind of signifies that your mic is working perfectly fine. After setting up mic setting, let's close it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to privacy and security setting. In privacy and security, you need to find your microphone. So either you can click on microphone or either you can go back and click on this voice activation. Both setting will uh, take you on the same place. And here you need to enable a setting which says um, microphone access. So you just need to turn the setting on. So what does this setting do? This setting let other apps use your microphone. Now let's go back and here in find the setting, you can type voice typing, okay? And you just need to make click on it and you will be reaching to this page, which is accessibility and speech. Actually here you do not need to do anything. I'm just showing you the shortcut that is defined for voice typing. And you can see here it is for dictating text with your voice and in order to enable it you just need to press windows logo and h and then select the mic button uh, let's do it let's not read this text and now i'm going to close it because i think we have done all the setting that need to do because um, we have configured our mic and then um, we also have provided access such that windows can utilize my mic now, uh, one more prerequisite of voice typing is that you should have working internet connection. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press windows button and H and that's how guys, um, you know, you can see here it is working perfectly fine. Despite we do not have any dictation function. Full stop. Next line. Next line. Okay. So here you can see it is also recognizing the phrases and i saw the first mistake here 
which is um you know we can see here one word is recognized incorrectly maybe uh, because the english that i am speaking do not match the accent so let's click here on this setting and there we go here we can see different different option for example we can enable this voice typing launcher and then we also have option to enable automatic punctuation and then here we also have option to choose default mic so right now my mic is correctly configured so uh, maybe i do not need to change it or let's say you want it so you can click here on manage microphone setting and from here also you can change the or you can define the correct mic so again i have just pressed windows in h button so these were a few settings that we can see and then if you want to learn more about these um, you can always click here on power by microsoft online speech recognition and you can read more about voice typing here so that's all about um, unfortunately i didn't find any option to you know better recognize my voice let's say because i am speaking in indian accent not uh, the british or american because sometimes it happens that it does not recognize your wording correctly and then uh, you need to make some changes here and there and as you can see i have also enabled auto punctuation so it have automatically added full stop there next line so that's how guys we can utilize this voice detection function of windows 11 in microsoft word perpetual version or perpetual software so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye